Very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how to make tables in Dreamweaver. Guys I've already made one. It's a multi-colored uh, table. Let me click on this uh, multi-screen uh, preview and show it to you how it actually looks. Guys if you notice uh, the top row is the header of the table. Okay, it has a different background color and uh, a different font color. The rest of the table you see there are uh, four columns the first two columns share the same uh, same background color the other two columns have a different background color the table has a different font color compared to the the top row okay so it's it's a it's a multicolored cool uh, table okay so guys what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to construct another table another multicolored table so that uh, you can get the hang of what i've just done okay so let me just start I'm gonna say a file and a new and click on the create button go to insert go to table okay uh, let me go with the the values that are presented in front of me five rows four columns the width can be in pixels as well as in percentage I'm happy to keep it at 600 I'll keep the border thickness cell padding and cell spacing at zero mind you guys keeping it at zero and keeping it empty are two different things because the browsers uh, may infer the empty uh, values differently so to be on the safe side in fact that is the right thing to do keep it at zero don't keep it empty and uh, as far as the header of the table is concerned I want the top row to be the header for the caption guys I'm gonna say let's say a timetable okay the summary is only for the screen readers will not affect the way the table looks I'm gonna skip it it will though if I put the summary it will though appear in the code view of uh, doing we will not appear in the design view at all I'm gonna skip it I'm gonna say okay uh, next thing what I'm gonna do here is guys see every table is made up of TDs and TRs TRs are table rows and TDs are table data okay so this single cell is the TD and the whole uh, row is called the TR okay so guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill these uh, and the top row is is the th table header okay so each cell is the table header I'm gonna fill the table headers in the table rows quickly uh, let me say a Monday out here and let's say Wednesday out here <coughs> let me crunch this area mm, Monday Wednesday let's say a Friday out here and uh, let's say total hours out here I'm filling just about anything it's got no reference to any uh, real statistic okay let me fill in the um, uh, the TDs the table data the cells with just about anything at all just to make the table look like a table that's all okay that's it okay guys uh, let me show you a multi-screen preview beg your pardon let me first save it show it to you in chrome let me call it table okay so guys this is the way the table looks like right now okay guys as you can see the top row has everything uh, aligned center the text is aligned center but here down below in all the other rows it's uh, aligned to the left so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all the four rows okay go down here in the property inspector and choose the alignment the row alignment to be a center okay let me show you in Chrome now save the changes to the table that's the way the table looks like right now let me go back to dream people okay fine guys let me expand the code area now we're gonna work in the code area a little bit okay guys any table is actually a grid of rows and columns okay rows and columns now the rows are represented if you see in the uh, the code area by the th which is the table header the top row okay is represented by the TR I'm sorry TR is the row the table row and uh, within the table row you have the TDs the the table data the single cells okay uh, 
what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to divide this table into row uh, columns now and I'm going to impart the formatting to the columns and I can do that only through hand coding the table does not have any insert option uh, any any such shortcut where I can actually use the, the column tag uh, with the help of the menu so I'm going to hand code it so I'm going to hit enter here after the caption okay uh, let me click on the refresh button and I'm gonna add the call or the column tag guys next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass in the span attribute now what does the span attribute do it actually I'm actually telling Dreamweaver that I want you to span the first two columns okay uh, the formatting that I'll apply will be uh, affecting the first two columns that's what span uh, 2 is gonna do okay next thing guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply an inline style okay I can use a class as well but I'm gonna apply an inline style so I'm gonna say style and then uh, let me choose a uh, let's say a, a background color for the first two columns of my table let me go with the let's say a hash uh, triple three okay so I'm gonna say background uh, color and choose the color to be a hash uh, triple three okay and uh, also I would want the width to be mm, let's go with the um, width to be let's say a 125 okay let me close the column tag up and show you a preview in Google Chrome let me save the changes okay guys as you can see the first two columns have been affected I've used the column tab I've used the span attribute the span attribute is now affecting making sure that I'm affecting the first two columns okay guys just in case just to make you understand things properly just to make you understand the concept properly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this two to a three okay I'm gonna revert back to two later and show it to you how it looks now okay so it's affected the first three it's spanning the background color of the first three columns I'm gonna go back to Dreamweaver and uh, if I make it one obviously that is the default guys whether you mention or not uh, one is the default affect the first column even if I were to cut this bit okay if I were to cut this bit and um, let me show it to you now mm. I actually by mistake removed this also which wasn't uh, supposed to happen okay so as you can see whether I say span one or not it's always span one okay let me go back to Dreamweaver and uh, revert the way the things were earlier so if you use the column uh, tag with the span attribute making it two and keeping uh, using inline styles and making sure that the background color is a hash triple three and uh, I have also passed in yet another attribute the width attribute and uh, making sure that the width is 125 pixels for the first two columns only okay guys uh, next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this column tag okay and paste it down below here uh, I'm gonna completely do away with the span bit I don't need the span now I want only one single column to be affected but I want the let's say the background color to be a hash triple six instead of hash triple three that's a slightly lighter color okay I'll keep the width just the same let me show you a preview okay so the first two columns 125 pixels each have a background color of uh, a hash triple three the next column since I didn't use the span attribute will affect only one column has a background color of uh, <coughs> beg your pardon of uh, let's say hash uh, triple six or a pound triple six okay next guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this bit the column uh, tag paste it down below here and I'll change the background color this time in the inline style okay and I'll completely do away with the width 
attribute okay so whatever width remains should be allotted to the last column that is what I, it means let me show you a preview <coughs> okay so far so good the first two columns hash triple three is the background color the, the third column has a background color of a hash triple six or a pound triple six and uh, the last column has a background color of a hash triple nine and uh, whatever width was remaining because the first three columns share a width of 125 pixels whatever remains is has been given to the total hours column all very nice wonderful but guys if you notice here that uh, the table has uh, a font color of black and that doesn't show up I would want it to, I, I would want to change it to let's say a yellow okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna locate the table tag just under the body area and I'm gonna pass in uh, let's say an inline style here as well and I'm gonna say color for the font color let's say to be a how about a yellow okay a yellow let me check a preview Okay, guys so everything everything has now turned yellow and it can be clearly seen in the background color all very nice but there's a small problem now the caption is lost in the white background so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Dreamweaver and locate the caption opening tag and likewise say style imparting inline style color and choose a different color mm, let's go with this one let's take a preview okay so far so good next guys what I'm gonna do is uh, for the very first row for the very first row which is actually the header the header row okay I'm gonna locate that in the code area which is this one okay this is the table header row and uh, I'm gonna give it a different uh, style altogether so I'm making the best use of styles guys guys I'm using inline styles you sh you could be using uh, classes and that's absolutely all right no no problems at all okay whatever suits you so I'm saying style and let me just increase the the font size so let's say a font size of um, mm, how about 18 all right semicolon uh, a background color of let's say mm, uh, let's go with the uh, 069 okay then uh, a semicolon and a color color means the font color of uh, let's say let's go with the um, about let me go with a uh, hash uh, CFO or, C or a CF0 okay that's fine so all right let me take a preview in Chrome to see how it actually looks right now wonderful so guys uh, we have different columns with different sizes different widths and we have the top row the table header row with a different background color and a different font uh, color the other cells the TDs have a different uh, color altogether the caption has a different color altogether so all very good all very nice and all very easy all in good health but uh, I'm finding that all the TDs or the table data or the table cells are kind of cramped so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Dreamweaver and then in the properties down below after making sure that the table is selected I can select the table by clicking on this green line where it gives me this width total width which is 600 once I select the table okay uh, I can select the table by clicking on uh, this tab out here as well what I'll do is I will pass in a little bit of uh, cell padding let's say 5 pixels let me take a preview now
let me go back to Dreamweaver actually it's, it's not I need to press enter after that I missed on the hitting the enter button so I'm gonna hit I've hit the enter button now I have not made the same mistake now let me for a change this time preview in Firefox save changes to table yes and uh, all right so guys as you can see that uh, multi-color table different column widths different background colors different font colors different caption colors all very good all very nice I'll see you next time with yet another Dreamweaver tutorial okay guys please rate please comment negative or positive but does really help all right uh, peace then till next time bye bye